Governor Tim Walz says Minnesota schools will avoid deep layoffs and program cuts because of the budget he signed into law today. Walls did so surrounded by school kids. Fox 9's Theo Keith live at the Capitol for us tonight. Theo, the governor said it was a relief. Why do you say that? Well, Randy, for a while, a uh, government shutdown looked about as likely as a budget deal did. The final deal that Walls signed, well, it doesn't give him everything he wants, but it's enough to maintain the status quo in schools. High fives coming in. Having dealt with the legislature, Governor Tim Walls celebrates with four-year-olds before signing the education budget into law at Bruce Vento Elementary in St. Paul. We're here and there, there is kind of a maybe a sense of relief. It's not as much money as he wanted for E-12 education. The governor had sought $711 million in new spending. House Democrats, $900 million. The final deal includes less, $543 million, which the governor says will protect against job loss and program cuts. For a budget that, that was a compromised budget amongst all of us, my hope is, is that this stabilizes us. Walls' team didn't know it, but this was the same school library where Governor Mark Dayton vetoed a Republican tax bill last year. We veto! This time, a different group of school kids saw a friendlier relationship between the new governor and lawmakers. Our objective was to get bills signed into law, and so it's very rewarding to see that happen here today. The budget includes $30 million for school safety and maintains 4,000 pre-K slots statewide. Walls said he'll seek more funding in his next budget in two years after Senate Republicans blocked his larger spending plans this time. Republican Carla Nelson, the Senate Education Chair, said she was very happy with the result. And I think the bills do serve, uh, serve our kids well. I don't see anything in this education bill that I would find objectionable or uh, not worthy of the investment. Wall says he'll sign the rest of the budget bills into law by week's end and is not planning on making any vetoes, though I will point out he was intimately involved in crafting these bills behind closed doors, and so that doesn't leave him much need to make any vetoes. Live from the Capitol, Theo Keith, Fox 9.